Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Today you are being briefed on SCP-056. Let's begin. Item number SCP-056, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-056 is to be kept in a room of its choosing with whatever furnishings it expresses desire for. Level 1 personnel and above may interact with SCP-056 at any time they choose for a time length not exceeding 2 hours. The subject is to be guarded by a minimum of three security staff at all times with shift changes every four hours. Each guard is to be armed with non-lethal tranquilizer pistols loaded with no less than 1,500, 1,500 microliters of cyclopyrrolone tranquilizer. Any irregularities in personnel and staff developed by extended exposure to SCP-056 will result in psychological examination and relocation to site data expunged. The subject is to be allowed access to any object it desires with the exceptions of weapons, communication devices, an internet connection, and other SCP objects. It may wander in research sector redacted as it wills, but never allowed access to floors with exits. In the event of an emergency, or if SCP-056 becomes violent, it is to be subdued and contained within its room if possible. At no time should personnel attempt to harm SCP-056. See Addendum 2 Bravo. Description. SCP-056 is a being of variable size, gender, and appearance which changes in response to the environment around it, especially in regards to living and sentient beings. Its most common form is of a handsome man in his middle twenties, dressed in a garb of similar appearance to that of the personnel guarding it, but of a higher quality and aesthetic value. However, it has been recorded as taking these forms. A large, well-groomed Labrador Retriever, when exposed to Dr. Redacted's dog. A woman of similar appearance to famous actress Scarlett Johansson when passing by a group of younger female staff. A female doctor in a white lab coat when speaking with various researchers. When asked to take an IQ test, the subject scored nearly 30 points higher than the highest scoring researcher available. A male bodybuilder who was able to lift nearly 250 kilograms twice on a bench press machine in the sector's gym. This was 30 kilograms heavier than the strongest security guard's maximum at the time. A couch of extremely pleasing aesthetic value when left alone in the subject's room. These changes will generally occur the moment all people in the area lose focus on the subject, which occurs immediately upon exposure to a new object or person, see Addendum 3. Filming these changes has proved inconsequential, as any viewing the tapes or feeds suffer the same momentary confusion. Clothing will also change during this time, though 056 has yet to manifest any sort of tools or weapons. It is theoretically impossible to view SCP-056's original or natural form. When left in an empty, concrete cell and under closed-loop video surveillance, it took on the form of a higher-quality camera and appeared to monitor the camera watching it. Further attempts to yield its natural form discovered that when alone, it had no readable life signs including body temperature, heartbeat, or weight. It is assumed by researchers that it could not exist without any sort of perception. Personnel in contact with the subject often report feeling jealous or unsatisfied, yet will often give a great deal of both positive and negative attention to SCP-056, which can be predicted by their personality types. Security staff will often claim that they wish to follow the subject's commands, even if they dislike it or its current form, while researchers in extended contact with it will often try to argue and verbally abuse it, which usually results in the subject sending them out in shame. SCP-056 is quite capable of speech and can apparently communicate in any language, verbal or not, and has shown fluency in over 200 dialects, including those invented by cryptographers and hobbyists. It frequently treats the staff around it with disdain, though it is generally willing to do whatever is asked of it so long as the inquiring does so in a submissive way. It expresses interest in magazines, fashion, automobiles, theoretical science, sports, and a multitude of other subjects, 
usually expressing greater knowledge and understanding of the topic than the person communicating with it. Personnel will generally become angry, disenchanted, or disgusted with SCP-056 after speaking with it for great lengths of time, though they will try to speak with it again if possible. When questioned about other SCPs, it showed fear and occasionally hatred and refused to speak about any of them, even objects classified as safe. Additional. Subject was found to be working for the clothing design company Redacted after an unusual number of homicides, suicides, and mental breakdowns of other models when working around SCP-056. When Class E personnel attempted to detain it, their mannerisms provoked it to change into what appeared to be the form of Redacted, resulting in the deaths of 17 agents and 10 civilians. The incident was covered up by claiming an employee suffering from psychopathy brought a firearm to work and attacked other workers. Addendum 1. Those with level 4 or above clearance refer to document number 956-TAC-0. Document number 956-TAC-0, audio recording of first encounter with SCP-056. Begin tape. Agent redacted. Hey, listen up, whatever you are. You're under arrest for murder. SCP-056. No. Go away. Clicking noises. Agent has drawn his weapon. Agent, you need to come with us right now. SCP-056. You don't want to do that, you stupid little man. Expressions of surprise, presumably from onlookers. Agent. The expletive. It looks just like that expunged. Gunshots and screaming. Tape ends. Addendum 2 TAC Alpha, see document number 956 TAC 1. Document number 956 TAC 1, behavioral testing for SCP 056. Testing procedures, data expunged. Addendum 2 TAC Bravo results 1. Male Class D personnel armed with knife, intent to harm subject. Subject appeared as a lean, fit man of approximately 20 years of age. Subject proceeded to disarm and kill personnel. One female Class D personnel bearing a bottle of fine wine, intent to offer subject gift. Subject appeared as a beautiful woman, accepted the gift, and upon tasting, spit it back in the personnel's face before waving her away. Two Class D personnel, both male and female, carrying nothing and intending nothing. Subject appeared as a beautiful woman in a well-tailored business suit, examined both personnel, then dismissed them. 10. Class D personnel, all male, intending and carrying nothing. Subject appeared as a beautiful woman dressed in a low-cut red dress. After approximately 10 minutes, all personnel began showing signs of irritation, and 5 minutes later broke out in fighting. Subject waved them away after watching them for 7 minutes. 1. Female Level 4 personnel, voted to be best-looking woman on facility, carried nothing, intended nothing. Subject appeared as an extremely aesthetically pleasing woman and displayed a large lexicon and understanding of management skills. Spoke to personnel for nearly 90 minutes until personnel became infuriated and left the room. Addendum 3. Note from Dr. Kenneth. I was recently informed that 056 has repeatedly requested access to the internet. When I asked 056 about this, it told me that we were unable to provide it with enough sycophants and that it wanted the whole world to know its face. Needless to say, its request was denied. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-056. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.